And moving to Europe, today marks the end of campaigning in Britain. Tomorrow, voters will head to the polls to cast their ballots. The outcome will reveal whether Prime Minister Rishi Sunak will defy the odds to retain his position or if Labor Party leader Keir Starmer secures the post to become the next prime minister. However, just 24 hours before the election, a new controversy has arisen surrounding the Labor Party chief. According to the report, Starmer received over $96,000 from British donors during the last parliamentary session. In addition, as a lifelong fan of Arsenal, he received complimentary tickets to see matches against Manchester United, Manchester City, and Porto. Furthermore, he also got tickets to England's Euro 2020 final defeat to Italy, attended singer Adele's hometown concert in Hyde Park in 2022, and received four invites to see Coldplay perform last summer. The report revealed that the five-figure sum is among the highest claimed by any member of parliament in the last five years. Now defending his actions, Starmer emphasized that there was no conflict of interest in accepting hospitality and the freebies he accepted have been duly declared. The Conservative Party has got nothing possible positive to say as they go into this. I've been arguing throughout this campaign, you'll have heard me many times saying, they haven't changed, they're just the same. They're just in this negative, desperate loop. And it is really um, desperate. My family is really important to me, as they will be to every single person watching this. Um, and I just think it's increasing desperation, bordering on hysterical now. Now, time and again, Starmer's backstory during the campaign has garnered him sympathy, where he repeatedly cites his father's humble background as a toolmaker. Now, on the other hand, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has been under media scrutiny for his privileged upbringing. In fact, a few weeks ago, the British Prime Minister came under heavy criticism when he claimed that he went without lots of things as a child, including cable TV. So, will Britain buy into the whole privileged versus humble story, or will there be a twist in the tale on election day? On the today, the T20 World Cup run by the US moved across to the West Indies more than you expect. Hello, I'm Alison Green, coming to you from Durban, South Africa. Hello and welcome to First Coast America. I'm Eric Ham, coming to you live from the nation's capital, Washington, D.C.